and a good tactic. Get a poor team promoted? This one says yes. How's it going, crew? So listen, I've been using this tactic in my online save on Twitch with Darlington. As you can see, it's been going pretty well, you know. We're now in League 2 and we're pushing hard. Had some banging results such as these ones. 8-0 against Exeter and a couple of 4s away at Aldershot and Stevenage. You can see now we won the National League North in first. We finished fourth in the National League first season, second season... We finished top and last season lost in the playoffs in League 2. So this season, with this tactic, we're going for the title. And I like the way it looks, so I thought I'd put it to the test in the same league that I'm in from the start of the game. Yep, so first up, Gillingham, we did the test with them. And you can see there, they have took it down, league champions, only losing the eight games. Now if I take your attention back to the play stats screen, it's dominated by our boys. The two strikers in the formation, Kashka and Mandron. Mandron first, 28 goals in 45 matches for Mikhail. Strike partner Kashke, 29 goals. Pretty damn successful, right? But then I thought, right, Gillingham, maybe they've got a strong squad. So take your eyes down to the bottom of the table there. Colchester, relegated by a mile as well, 25 points, nearly 20 points off safety. So I thought, right, I'm going to reload this game. We're going to do it with Colchester. Let's see what we can do with them with the same tactic. Straight into Colchester, loaded in the tactic. There it is, Barcelona, bong, in it goes. Remember how bad Colchester were? 23 total points, 20 points off safety from relegation. We managed to make them finish sixth in the playoffs, missing out on automatic just, but they did get to the playoff finals and win the playoff final. They are now a League One team. And that, friends, is a 48 point swing. So, the tactic. We're back over to the Darlington save, which is where Barcelona was born. Get it? Darlington, Barcelona. And I'll talk you through this right now. Remember, if you want the download to this tactic, it is in the manager's seat Discord. The link is down below. Jump over there, jump into the tactics channel, and it's all yours. So there is Barcelona. Now, it is based on the Papa Shango tactic. You've probably seen that tactic that I've done before. Now, we used this tactic for three seasons to great success, but this season I wanted to try something different to get us over the line in League 2. And that's how this one was born. So they are both takes on the 4-4-2. There's a few big differences though, you can see we've got an inverted wing back on attack, so he's going to be bombing in that gap there and he makes such a difference. For example, 11 games in, he's already scored 4 goals. Two central defenders holding their position, we've got a wing back on one side, so he's more aggressive and the reason he's a wing back, because in front of him we've got an inverted winger who's going to be diving in there a lot. So the wing back will go around him like that, lovely. In front of the inverted wing back, by the way, is a wide midfielder. A little bit more hard working and defensive minded than a winger. He's going to control that area, allowing the inverted wing back the freedom to bomb into there. I have Francis here as a deep line playmaker on defense. So he sits deep, he gets the ball off the two center backs and he starts moves off. And in front of him, we've got the bomber, the central midfielder on attack. And that role has helped massively. In fact, this match against Aldershot, my central midfielder on attack scored a blooming hat trick. You can see there he was the most advanced of the players. He starts that move off there and then legs it into the box. He's in the box with the strikers. As it comes down, bang, that's his second. And once again, you can see him taken off there, breaking past the defenders, in for his hat-trick, slots it away. And back to the tactic. We've got our target forward there. He'll drop off quite a lot and he causes havoc. And to be honest, it doesn't have help when he's six foot nine. And next to him, a pacey, smaller striker, running into the channels and running in behind. Not many team instructions. Pretty basic, but we'll go through them. Positive mentality to start with, by the way. Standard line, approach play is very basic. Look at that, we don't play out of defense because I don't really trust them and I've got my deep line playmaker sitting really deep. Higher tempo, play for set pieces because we've got some absolute blocks and we've got work ball into the box as well. In transition is dead simple. We're taking short kicks, so my playmaker will get the ball quite a lot. Counter, press and the counter. And out of possession, we're high and high. Sometimes I drop this to standard, depending on if we're getting caught in behind a lot. And pressing is just more often. We'll drop that back if we are comfortably winning, just to save a bit of energy. And we're preventing short goalkeeper distribution. 
Pretty basic tactic, but I like to keep them basic down in the lower leagues. And I don't know, I do not know if that would work in the higher leagues. Be interesting to see. I'm going to give it a try myself. Now, if you want the player instructions as well, they're coming up shortly. But remember what I said, if you just want the direct download with the set players included, get over to the Manager Seat Discord and they'll be in there. That's another take on a 4-4-2, one of my favourite formations in the game, so much better than a 4-2-3-1. Stick around the channel, that video right there, that's a boomer as well.